Good evening and welcome to Let's Play Portal 2. Beat the first portal not too long ago. It was all kinds of fun, so let's jump in and see what the sequel's got for us. New game. Okay. Now, this is going to be a blind playthrough. And obviously you can see some bits have been done already. I did not play that. My husband played the little bits that have been played. So this is all brand new to me. Let's jump right in here. Alright, so this must be the end of the first one, right? When we destroyed her? I'm assuming. Um, okay, come on, game. Let's move it along. Okay, yep, that's looking like everything blown to bits. Good deal. been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Okay. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your <laughs> mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. Oh, there it is. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. <laughs> okay. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now please return to your bed. Oh, that's boring. What else have we got? Microwave, mini fridge. This must be the bathroom. Can't get in. Oh, there's jump. set up like a little hotel room. What's that rail for, though? Well, it looks like our only option is to sleep, so... Okay. Good morning. You have been in suspension for... Nine, 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 Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Uh, and yeah, what's you going on? Can I open the door? At Any time? Hello? No? Are you going to open this door? Because it's, fa it's fairly urgent. Okay, okay. I was trying to listen to what that thing said. Oh my goodness. Ah! Oh god, you look um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you... Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please seat. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, um, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. Yeah. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Um, like what? Woo. So it looks like it's been some significant right, amount of time there. later. Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, I'm fine. Settle down, guy. robot -y guy. It's okay. I want to know what's out in this hall. That Most test subjects from. do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. Oh, just maybe. But don't be alarmed, all right? <laughs> uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying? At all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Um. All right. Okay. What you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. <laughs> okay. You know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. <laughs> all reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Um, Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Little robot friend. Hey, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. Uh, yeah, What are you I see. doing down there? You're still holding on? 
Are you the lifting my whole room? Power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? 10,000? Can you see? Am I going to make it through? But I love space. Um. Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hear that one. I hear that one. <laughs> Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. It does say docking station. So all these kind of little boxy things we've been passing, these Good kind news. of crates. Is that, that what all the rooms are? That is a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. <laughs> uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on um, this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. No, it sounds like you're just going to ram it. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Okay, and you want me to just climb through? There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But, um, at least you're a good jumper. So, you got that, got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. All right, uh, thank you, I guess. So. All right, off you go. Yeah, I'm going. That's the spirit. Settle it down. Okay, do I want to... I don't... Woo! Yeah, I guess I'm going through the gra glass. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. Oh, wow. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The oh, well, thank goodness for that. Emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Oh, and there we are. Da -da -da -da. With those crazy shoes that we were wearing from the last one. Now, we look pretty much the same. Are we the same character, or are we a different character, and they just all look alike? Really, you never saw the face last time. This could be a totally different gal. Alright, what do we got here? Nope, oh, all of this fun stuff. Don't get bonked in the head by a companion cube. Okay, so this is looking extremely overgrown. So is this after? This must be after? I mean, it is a sequel, so I'm... Sequel, but timeline-wise, it could be set, you know, before or concurrent or anything. But I'm guessing after, because it looks like this... Everything's fallen apart and has grown over, which would fit with the... All the rampant destruction at the end of the first one. Cube so, and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very <laughs> slim. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. Like the cube. So no point trying. Just go right ahead. Ooh, where are we going? Aperture left.
Okay. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Oh, well, don't panic then. That's just a normal thing to happen. All right, this is pretty cool. I really liked the whole smooth, sterical, science-y aspect of the first game, but now I'm really enjoying this kind of mystery beat-to-crap area, too. This looks like maybe we could just push on it. Okay. Running into it's not doing it. We'll leave it alone for a moment. Is that oh duh. let's get this cube oh, I meant to throw it how do you throw again not like that A way to throw? It really seems like I need to just slam this through that glass. Okay. But it's not really doing well. What's this other switch do? That's probably important. Oh, there we go. No need to break any glass at all. So at least there's nothing watching me. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. All right. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment <laughs> to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Where do you want me to write this down? go. Down and down and down. So when we blew it up, we took out the main if computer. If the Earth is currently governed by I'm a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. That's the Animal King, huh? That cheetah print turret? Alright. But anyhow, if she's destroyed... Well, I, you have to wonder in the first place how our little buddy was even involved. There's obviously still some power going on here. And it's not really clear in either this one or the other one um, what's going on in the outside world, so I don't know if it's really any hey, type of apocalypse. Hey, Oh, there he is. Hey, guy. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. Well, let's go take a look. I can't see. see it, though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick... Oh! <gasps> Hello? Yeah, I'm Can down here. Portal gun? Also, are you alive? <laughs> That's important. Should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back. And assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right? Brilliant. Go team! See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. Okay, so is that GLaDOS there that they're making? And then everything went horrible. Oh, yeah, that's right. She unleashed the neurotoxin that messed everybody up. There's the cake. So she's tempting people with the promise of cake. And our companion cube. This is certainly interesting. Anything back here? No. Um, no 
Okay, triumphant with the portal gun. Hard to see that one up there. But that's me, right? Alright, let's... Okay, go around, grab that gun. Okay, there, now we can take another look at this one. So is that me walking out of the wreckage? All right. Oh well. So someone recorded the whole story. Who's our mystery artist? Down, I suppose. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. <laughs> oh, well then. Oh, that's cute. It kind of wiggles like, nope, you can't go there. I don't really want to go down here, because he talked about lethal robotics. Something's going to pop up and try and kill me. Oh! Oh, there we are. I was just hitting the wrong button. Interesting. Okay. So, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, there we go. This will be fairly easy. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Uh, that didn't look very good. Okay, we'll hop in. Every time it puts my mouse cursor right there in the, mouse, the middle. All right, what do we got now? This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Oh, well, I'm feeling all kinds of tranquil now. Thanks, guys. Oh, hey, hey. Tranquility shattered. Okay, we gotta get cube. Oh, whoops. Slid right off. Let's try that one again. Come here, you. All right. What are we going to put on the other one? Aha. Uh -huh. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. <laughs> Please disregard any undeserved compliments. 
Certainly. Okay. So will I just land on that and not... Oop! Nope. That's not gonna do it. Huh. Oh no. We're good. We made enough of a walkway. I'm wondering about this one here. But no, that's stationary. I don't think... Be able to, no, it won't be able to launch me in the right direction to get that. Let's just forge on ahead. So we could go that way, but instead, let's see if we can maybe meet our buddy to the side. Because we don't necessarily want to follow the test. Unreason. And a kitty cat! Okay... Take another look. Huh. Oh. All right, there we go. Isn't Oh, that's the smooth jazz. Isn't this where I came in? Or is it not? Got myself mixed up. If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Remember my evacuation training. Well... some kind of situation here. So where do we suppose the companion cube is? And we need to hit those. this. Good grief. Okay, what did that accomplish? Fantastic. So, let me get that over here. That's got to only be part of it. There's more going on here. Let's hit this again. <gasps> oh, I didn't know it would take that one away. I was hoping that I would get two of them. But no. Well, up these stairs then. Alright, what do these do? Alright, 
and then somehow we need it to shoot out over here, and it might with enough momentum, and then... Hit that, knock it back, and... Okay, I think I've got a kind of idea. We'll see. Oops, but I was way too slow. Okay, I think that's the right idea, though, so... Through here. Obviously, something didn't bounce where I needed it to. But I'm feeling like that is probably the way to do it. So I hit this one first. Maybe. No. It's gotta be this one, and then... Oh, I'm jumping the gun. Try it again. Where did it launch it to, though? Okay, that might have actually worked, and I just... No, it's sending it in crazy directions. Oh, I'm making it so much harder than it needs to be. I can just run down and grab it. I was thinking it would launch it back over through the portal again, and then I'd need to move the blue portal, and... No, not that hard. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Oh, that's why my buddy's still hanging around, eh? Alright, well, in we go. And before we tackle whatever comes next, I'm going to go ahead and actually wind the episode down here like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this come back next time we'll continue our adventure see if we can meet up with our little buddy robot again i'm not sure what his plan for us is but we'll see